Okay, we're going to set the skipper navigator up on our neighbor's front lawn. They've got more space than us. And I'm just making this little video to show you the, what we found the easiest way to do it. First of all, what we haven't shown is on the four corners are the steadies. And what you do is you let the front down fairly low, drop the back steadies, and then raise the front up a bit and front drop the front steadies. This takes a lot of the weight off the axle and stabilizes the whole thing. And you can use a spirit level on the A-frame in front to see if it's level. Right, the next step is to lay the ground sheet down and try and get it with the same amount sticking out each side. And not absolutely crucial, don't have to be too accurate with this. The next step is to get the center roof pole and put it in and just leave it there and then we set the roof up over it. Okay, the next step is to lay the poles out on the ground is probably the easiest. Uh, there's the center one, it's a slightly longer pole because of the shape of the roof and the side ones are much shorter. Okay, the next step is to uh, slide the roof and <coughs> uh, feeding thing into the channel and pull it along. Uh, best to have two people, one can pull from that side and one can uh, make sure it feeds smoothly from this side. Okay. okay, and then the last bit is you take this end, tuck it in and put it in. Okay, the next step is to uh, get the center roof pole up with the middle upright. Don't do it, put it out. Take the top of the roof. And feed it into the grommet on the top, pull it out, so it doesn't have to be too tight, tighten it up a bit later, and then take the bottom upright, pop it in, and then some go underneath and just lift the roof. Right, the next step would be to uh, put a guy rope on there. I actually should have done it before I lifted it, but that's not a problem. We'll fix we can lower it again. You can see it is quite high. So it's quite hard to do film and do it at the same time. And guy rope goes on top there and plug it in. Uh, it doesn't also have to be too tight. It's always fairly stable because of its uh, the scent, the roof pole is quite secure. Okay, now we put the side poles in and the most important thing which we forgot to do and Colleen's going to get a step is that there's some channels on the top side of the roof and you should actually put those in before we do the roof. Let me okay, those are the channels we talked about that must go in. Much easier when the roof start. And just tuck the top over the top. Okay, next step is to these poles that attach to the trailer on the side and they hold the side of the roof up. That's the next step to do. Okay, the next step is to velcro the sides together the green side and the main skipper's tent and at the bottom part there's a piece that a guide that slides into the channel on the bottom. Here's an indication of all the 
storage space under the roof. In the middle oh, is yeah. the kitchen under the under the bed. In the middle is that uh, is the kitchen unit, and there's storage boxes on either side of it. There is a little skirt okay. that fits under the uh, back of the caravan here to keep the wind out. I'm not going to bother to put it in now, though. Very easy. It just velcros to the uh, bottom parts of these green walls that you can see here. And there's a channel just uh, behind the step that it feeds through, and it makes it totally, totally windproof. Okay, we're just assembling the kitchen unit, which is a very nice optional extra, and not many of the skipper owners have this because it's quite expensive. It's about three thousand rand for this kitchen unit at the moment, but it makes such a difference. Um, you can put quite a lot of stuff: your kettle, toaster, cooker, um, utensils, everything on that, and. You'll see on the left hand side there's a green flap, you can put your cutlery in that. Just what? On the door you'll see there's a cloth bag, that is for the crockery. They fit in there, that was done by the previous owners that we bought it from, who bought it from new. And also a very useful feature. Here's a picture of the bed set up. Uh, you slide off the bottom of the bed to get in and out, not too much of a hassle. It's a very wide and very comfortable bed. We sleep, sleep very well in it. Um, nothing much more I can say. And you will see those little storage bags which we've left in at the top end, at the, each side, to put your things like your glasses or your watch or um, torch or anything like that you want to keep in it during the night. We've got these two hanging cupboards uh, for putting some of your clothes in. Those were also installed by the previous owner who was the first person to buy it from new. Here's the other storage cupboard hanging from the hook in the roof. Right, we've now put the roof poles in. Makes it nice and sturdy and neat. And as you can see, they've got these little flaps which the poles should actually go through but we found it's a lot easier uh, not using the flaps and as you see the inside upright pole comes inside the tent you may when you're zipping it up on the outside just have to take a bit of tension off one of the guy ropes that hold the pole up so it makes it much easier to, to zip up if you do that Okay, we've got it all set up now. Last thing are the window awnings, these awnings over the windows, so that you can sleep at night with your window wide open inside, especially when it's hot, and uh, yet still give you a lot of privacy. Okay, I'm taking some fairly bad light in the tent section looking towards the bed. You can see the uh, window awnings covering the open windows there. And we'll scan right, turn around and show the inside of the tent area. And it's pretty spacious, what we normally do over this last wall is uh, we have a set of camping drawers which are included in the sale of it uh, if you want them and we put them there for our clothes we actually also have another fridge an additional fridge uh, which we also put over there and uh, there's quite a bit of space behind these angling uh, poles that um, hold the roof up for storing things like washing lines and fishing rods, things like that. It's quite a, you can get quite a bit of stuff in there. And this doorway does completely close up. As you can see, I've left it open for now.
Okay, we're just packing up and this is where the kitchen unit goes on the middle of the boxer. You'll notice the broom is, the bed is propped up with a broom. That is, it does have gas lifts which hold it up, uh, but not completely because what happened was it had the, actually had the bed reinforced and it's, the bed itself is a little bit heavier. So one could increase the pressure in the gas lifts. I've heard that that can be done. We find it's just as easy just to prop it up with a broom like this. And there you've got, again, all that storage space, which you can get a ton of stuff in. Okay, here's a last shot with the bedroom door closed up. If one does, does an overnight stop, or sometimes we've been to places where we don't bother to put the front walls up and just leave it open and just use it like a caravan rally awning, and uh, then we can close that up at night.